Thailand outlook. Good evening. สวัสดีครับ Welcome to Thailand Outlook, a daily magazine program broadcast every Monday through Friday from 6:45 to 7 p.m. on Radio Thailand FM 88 MHz. I am Wanachai j i t i w o n g and I'm Itipon Lakan. So today we will be talking about continuous rains and the threat of floods in parts of southern Thailand, as well as the Ministry of Digital Economy and Society's Memorandum of Understanding for More Pracharat Internet. We have heard the word p r a c h a r a t quite often in this term, uh, initiative from Thai government that try to promote the collaboration between the various sectors in the country to work together to improve uh, the competitiveness, to enhance human resources, and make use of digitalization. And I would say that it's very exciting to see how p r a c h a r a t can uh, benefit Thai people um, because government has worked so hard to promote p r a c h a r a t Now, before we go forward, I'd like to first clarify uh, the term "pracharat" and, and and also how it pertains to this internet project. Now, it's actually two different things that we're talking about. The "pracharat" is a concept that our government created. The "pracharat" it uh, transliterates to "civil state," which means it's a it's a an approach to working that the, that the government has created, in that they want to tie together a civilian. Organizations and groups, and tie them to state organizations and groups to to create more effective uh, execution of projects. So that is that is what pracharat is, and pracharat we see applied to many things. We don't just see it yeah. applied to internet, or we don't see it just applied to business. Even we see it applied to everything. We see it applied to how they address issues such as flooding, how they address issues such as low income earners. So that's one thing. The internet project obviously is an extension or is a uh, subsection of the Thailand 4.0 agenda, which is a purely economic. Uh, not, well, not purely economic. It's, it's a mostly economic and partially social uh, agenda of the government, which is to to in to. Enter Thailand into a new era of uh, mostly digital, mostly innovation, mostly technology-based development, and so what we see with the Prachara Internet Project is this Thailand 4.0 goal of giving internet to everyone. We're seeing it actualized through a civil state mechanism, mm. which is the Prachara mechanism. So what we're seeing here is the Ministry of Digital Economy and Society signing a memorandum of understanding with public organizations and also. I'm guessing uh, private organizations to provide internet to everyone. So they're using a civil state approach, which is to have state agencies join hands and coordinate with private agencies and other relevant agencies to achieve a goal. And in this particular case, that goal is to provide internet to everyone in the country, whether they're in a remote area. Or whether they're in an urban area, whether they're outside of Bangkok in the provinces, from north to south, they want uh, all citizens to have easy and uh, stable access to the internet, which is part of the Thailand 4.0 agenda, and we're heading towards that through a pracharat mechanism. According to uh, Deputy Prime Minister and uh, Chief Marshal Prachin Chantong, there was an MOU signing ceremony between Ministry of Digital Economy and Society, the Ministry of Education. And the Ministry of Interior and the Office of the Prime Minister, all signatories will dedicate personnel to advise the public on how to access the internet as provided by the project. This is very significant step uh, because technology can enhance the country's competitiveness, and the installation of the Prachat Internet project is now 80% complete and is expected to be fully implemented before the end of the year. And this significant move toward the Thailand's digital economy, p r a c h a r a t Internet Project, has also improved the Thailand's ranking in communication technology development, four places to 78th this year from last year's 82nd place, out of a total of 176 countries in the International Telecommunications Union's Measuring the Information Society 2017 report. The Thailand's National Broadcasting and Telecommunications Commission, or NBTC, attributed Thailand's ranking improvement to increased number of smartphone 
and Internet Wi-Fi users as a result of the expansion of 3G and 4G mobile broadband internet services, making it easier for the public to have access to the services. So Racharat Internet Project that will be soon become put in place is actually helping improve ranking in communications technology development, and the NBTC expects that people in 74,000 villages including those in isolated areas throughout the country will have access to mobile phone and high-speed internet services as contributed by the Prasharat Internet Project. Thailand Outlook Another topic we're looking at today is that continuous rains are triggering floods in Cham District of Peburi and Hua Hin District of Prachuap Kirikan Province. We now hear from Director General of the Royal Irrigation Department, Dr. Somke Pacham Wong, about how the government is handling the flood situation. Let's talk about some of the assistance measures that the government is providing to the affected residents of these two provinces. We uh, discussed with um, among the related agencies and forecast what happened in the in, in advance. Then we inform the people. After that, we we provide uh, some uh, uh, mechanical assistance. For example, pumping, pumping, and also the the truck. And also, the we have to provide to them to uh, to build some maybe the sandbag in the community area. Now, a number of affected residents have been evacuated. Can you tell us about uh, these shelters that affected residents have been evacuated to? Yes. Actually, it will be impact to the district of the Pechaburi. And then we inform the governor and also the related agency in order to take the, all the properties, for example, like a television or whatever, try to raised about one meter from uh, as usual. As we, uh, we uh, in the Pechaburi, we forecast that the amount of the peak flood will be arrived or that uh, community probably about uh, uh, this evening and until uh, tonight, and it will be retained the flood and probably about uh, three days. So that we uh, provide all those information to the related, related agency, but however, what what we try to do now, uh, we uh, move all the mechanic uh, aspects, for example, a pumping uh, or machine um, to install more than 30 pumps now is already installed. And we are going to provide more like a truck and backhoe in order to assist and incorporate with the local agency to uh, temporary build the dike, you know, in order to protect the flood overflow over bank. Now, although uh, water levels have receded, but some areas remain flooded, according to your assessments, what is the area that still needs uh, most attention? And currently, how many districts have been declared disaster zones? For the time being, right, in the south of Thailand, uh, we have some problems just already in the Peshaburi in the Mueang district, right? That is important. And also, in the Taiyang district, also they're going to have a problem. Since the, the amount of the flood, you know, cannot flow all through the uh, Petroburi Diversion Dam, therefore the backwater impact to the upstream of the Petroburi Diversion Dam it will be impact to the agricultural area and also the, some community in upstream of the Petroburi that was dam. And also in the Mueang district in the Petroburi, it also will be impact quite a lot so that we, we try to let them know in advance. But uh, that is for the south of Thailand. But in the central plain, um, in, in the Jopriya River Basin, for example, in the Ayutthaya, the water in the water retention area is now is decreased uh, quite a lot and we expect we are going to drain all the water remaining in the water retention area probably not more than 15th of December and the remaining of the water in the water retention area will be used for the crop in dry, this dry season. 
Although the situation tends to get back to normal, the Royal Irrigation Department, or RID, is still warning residents living along the Pechaburi River in the capital district of Pechaburi province against a possible flood flood today evening and tomorrow. RID Deputy Director General Tong Pleo Gong Chan indicated that from 7 p.m. today onwards, Water from the nearby Hui Me Prachan will flow into the Peshaburi River following recent heavy downpours in the area. The amount of waters may cause the river to bridge its banks, impacting communities in Peshaburi. And locations most likely to be hardest hit include Peshaburi Market, as water levels could reach as high as 30 and 50 centimeters. Thank you all for listening to Thailand Outlook today. For our listeners at home, have a pleasant evening. And for those on the road, have a smooth journey home. สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ